his hands so he can make our mimosas. And Dana, I don't know if you're in here or not, but there's the cup Dana got me. I will be drinking my mimosas out of that today. Let me just give you guys a heads up. This will be a shorter, in theory, uh, live stream because we do have dinner plans at 6 p.m. with our friends Patrick and Mary. So just heads up. We're not going to drag it out for y'all all night long, just so you know. So you can do your dinner things and whatever else you got to do. Hopefully you guys had a good weekend. It's been a minute since I saw you because I slacked on making videos and stuff, but I have excuses. We did a lot of stuff. So if you do happen to follow, subscribe to watch uh, Squirrel Tribe Life, then you will know that on Saturday we took a boat out in Panama City and it was a lot of fun and nothing else was accomplished that day uh, uh, besides having fun and enjoying life, friends and family because we took Tiana with us. You took a nap. You took a nap. No, I took a nap. <laughs> I took a nap, right? Yeah, I fell asleep on the couch. It was an accidental nap, but it happened. I was supposed to record uh, for this channel and for Squirrel Tribe. And I was like, let me just sit on the couch first. Like, I made hot tea and everything. And I was like, I'm just going to sit here. I'm going to drink the tea. I'm going I'm to get it going. And I drank half a tea and I said, I was out. I don't know. It was the, the sun, the boat, the... Publix sub maybe because I got a public sub for the, the happy day hour drinks the happy hour drinks yeah so it was it was a fun Saturday uh, I enjoyed it immensely and I'm still y'all I know better this is from Saturday hold on can y'all can y'all I still got a sunburn no matter what I do I still get sunburns it wasn't it's not that bad it's only right here literally I don't know why I sprayed the stuff like every 10 minutes and yet still right through here just it got me um so that's that's the thing there uh he didn't get sunburned at all because he never does the kid didn't because she wore a sweatshirt because she's a teenager in florida and that's their normal attire is sweatshirts in the middle of spring slash summer but it wasn't exactly hot out so it made sense but anyways <laughs> oh, we have the fun bottle. It's not the twist top. It's the one you have to like regular champagne push. And so that one sticks a little bit more. But you guys can see here, I got a package here to open. I'm super excited. It is from Hervé Lucindy. I have no idea what's in there. It just showed up. So I'm super excited to see what is in here. She said I get to be her guinea pig for whatever she's working on. She's working on a bunch of different things. So I'm the guinea pig. So hopefully there's guinea piggy stuff in here. Um, oh yeah, thank you for the congratulations on the 21,000 subs. I appreciate y'all immensely for being part of the tribe and all of it going up and the, the subs going up. So thank you. I appreciate you guys. Um, I did go to the bookstore. You can see we have new books back here. I'm almost done with Nicholas Sparks two by two. I'm going to be sad when this book is over because I absolutely love this book. I don't know. Like normally when I read books, I like get into them, but I'm fine. Like once it's over, I'm like, okay, cool. And move on to the next one. But this one feels like a TV show to me where I am invested in the people of this book. And it feels like that show, This Is Us. That's what that book reminds me of, where you're just like looking into the life of a family or whatever. If you have not read it, I would definitely say go buy Books A Million and look for the two by two by Nicholas Sparks in the um, bargain section. I got it for like five bucks as opposed to like the 20 something dollars it says on the back cover. Is back cover the right, right, right way to say that? Well, it worked. Um, Manella, did you get a package from me? If not, please let me know. So there is a package that I need to pick up at UPS and that might be from you then because I was supposed to pick it up yesterday, I forgot. I was supposed to pick it up today. I forgot. So I'll be picking it up tomorrow morning after I take the kid to school, I promise. And I'll make a video tomorrow. And if it's okay, I will also show that in the video tomorrow because I have stuff to talk about tomorrow that I'm not going to talk about today. Um, <clears throat> so we're going to do this now. So I don't know if you guys noticed <laughs> the title for today, but when I, when I pulled up to my apartment earlier today, I don't think I told you this when I got out of the car. So I pulled up to my apartment earlier today and I'm, I'm, I park, right? And I was cleaning out the Jeep. I had a bunch of stuff I needed to get out of the Jeep. So I got the little red rolling like cart thingy from our garage so I could clean out the Jeep. And <clears throat> before I did all that, there was a lady that was walking her dog down the, the sidewalk. And I don't think she realized that people live here and can see her. 
and she literally stuck her hand down the back of her pants to scratch something but i mean the whole hand went missing so i don't know how far in she was going to scratch something but that was it this is why i don't shake people's hands in case anybody's curious one from the people who don't wash their hands after the bathroom um, at Publix. And then also for people who randomly walking down the street feel the need to shove their entire arm up their butthole. So just if you want to like do this, that's fine. But even that, I mean, even even a little dap is kind of gross because I mean, her whole hand was there. I don't know what part got rubbed in what areas. So, yeah, it was it was really gross. It was so gross. Um, somebody says, have you read The Guardian? I don't think I've read The Guardian. I feel like I would remember that one, but I don't know. I have a lot of books, so I'll have to check, but I don't think so. I was going to say, uh, you know, is Kevin going to say anything, but I've been running my mouth the entire time. <laughs> so there's that. Say hi. Howdy ho. Howdy ho. Now I want to go watch South Park. Thanks a lot. Okay, so before we open this, I'm going to go ahead and do the cheers thing. I know it's early, but again, because it will be a shorter live stream. We're just gonna jump into it. So since it is Mimosa Monday, I need you to have something drinkable in your hand, water, coffee, a shot of something, whatever, a bushwhacker, which I can't drink because they have coconut in them. Whatever you have, now is the time. Look, I have decided this is gonna be an amazing week, just so you all know. It's gonna be an amazing week for everybody. There will be more good than bad for everybody. It is sunshiny in a lot of places, so that's a plus. So here is to the rest of this week being amazeballs. Cheers. Yep. Mm. When's the last time I had mimosa? Whenever you open that one, I guess. So like four or five days ago. Feels like it's been forever, I'm not going to lie. But, mm. Look, my cup from Dana on a juice cleanse. Mimosa. Mmm, that's tasty. All right, look, we getting straight into this package from, uh, I, I, I saw that it was from Airbnb Lucini, but what I love is the, the tape that she put on there. It says fragile, fragile, but there's like a little heart that says, please be gentle, <laughs> which I thought was really funny. Um, I really like that. So let me figure out where the, there's so much tape, I don't know where the top thing is. Oh, there. I guess that makes sense. Maybe. Maybe. It's a clue. Your beaver looks really happy today. <clears throat> That's what she said. Come oh, on now, man. Oh. I set you up for it. That's what she said. You didn't even do it. It's fine. It's fine. I was distracted by your cutting style. Oh, you should be. Um, this is why we have health insurance, just in case I stab myself while trying to open boxes. I've met me. You're supposed to cut away from you, but the box is aimed towards me, so whatever. All right, let's see what we got here. So oh, this is a really big box. This is definitely, and it's very heavy. What the crap? So it turns out Airbay Lucindy has a huge box as well. Like the other one that we have is about half that size. It's got a little weight to it. How much would you say that weighs? It's like a quarter of that size. Okay, hold it. How much do you think this weighs? That's like a 10 pound box. <laughs> Why does it feel heavier here than it did holding that thing? All right, either way, let's see what's in here. Are y'all ready? All right, we got another card. Okay, so this is the same card that you get whenever you make a, a purchase. In gratitude for your support, we're excited to share that in your honor, we'll plant a tree, which is still one of my favorite things that they do. And we're going to break into this. And again, look, let me tear this off of here and show you guys this. Every time I see this, I immediately want to go watch Harry Potter. I have no clue why, but every single time I see their little wax seal sticker thing, I want to watch Harry Potter. All right, I'm excited. There's a lot of stuff in here. Oh, wow. There's a lot of stuff in here. Okay. I got to figure out how to do this, y'all, because there's a ton of stuff. Holy sh... I thought this was a big box. No, it's little boxes. Look at this. Y'all, there's like... Holy sh... There's tons of these little boxes. These are all different... Look, made for Michelle. It literally has my name on the sticker. Can y'all see that? Made for Michelle. That is awesome. There's so much stuff in this box. I don't know how we're gonna do this. Okay, well, we've done um, 
damask, damask, damask and plum before. We've done that one, so we won't do that. Egyptian cotton, <gasps> that's new. Okay, hold on, wait, what else do we have? She sent big ass things. White peach and peony. I feel like I have that one, but we're gonna try that one again. Aloe leaf and pear, oh my gosh. Look, the brandy cherry forest. The, the problem here is I want to lick all of these. Black rose and plum is my absolute favorite. Vanilla moonflower, blue jasmine and rose. Gosh, there's so much stuff. Hold on, what's this one? Small perfume bottles for car air fresheners. Okay, so that's what she said. So she sent me these things for air fresheners, but they're small perfume bottles for air fresheners. That's the guinea pig part. So everybody listen to, she asked me before, she goes, you know, what else do you think we should have? And I was like, bro, ma'am, if you had air fresheners, I would be all about it because I would much rather have your perfume scents in my car than those like um, little hanging tree things. I mean, they're great, but I would much rather my car smell feminine and amazing. Oh, look, it's got an, a new shipping bottle. So this is what she was talking about. Do you guys remember when I said that they were doing like a 30% off for Squirrel Tribe, if you use the Squirrel Tribe code, 30% off, and I, I think it's still going. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that's still going because they were getting new bottles. This is definitely a new, um, spray bottle than they used to have. They had clear ones with like a little clear lid to it. This is definitely different. But these are for in the car, she said, as air fresheners. I don't know, I thought there would be something to spray them on. Maybe it's just to keep in there to spray the car itself. So it's like a car spray instead of like the air freshener you hang from the... Um, That's actually probably better. I know? would think so too. Because you can re... Like you can rejuvenate it yeah. and re revitalize yeah. it, if you will. Okay, so I'm glad she sent, so she sent me my favorite ones. She sent me black rose and plum, damask plum and cashmere, mandarin and vetiver. What, how, I don't know how to say that. And then the hinoki and yuzu. So this is the one, y'all, is it very hard to see? I know. Hinoki and yuzu, I have been obsessed with this one. I used all of it and I sent, um, Jess said everybody was sending an email and I was like, I think that's one of my all time favorite ones now. I, I have like five or six that I am fully obsessed with, but now I get to be obsessed with so many more. Can y'all see that? Plus the like six that I have up here. This is amazing. All right. I feel like she has gone way overboard. Not complaining though, just so we're all fully aware. You got anything you want to talk about while I open some of these? Just to put you on the spot. No? Okay. So what we got here first? Ooh, blue jasmine and rose. Let's figure out what this smells like because I don't even know, but this is gonna be the new bottle also, I assume. Ah, oh, I don't wanna break this thing when I'm opening it. Hold on, hold on, okay. Oh, so it's in the box and it's got wrapping around it. Ooh, yay. So before the bigger bottles just had the name on the side and I kept thinking that the little, the little, um, what are we calling it? The little spray bottles testers. had like the stickers, the testers had the stickers around it. And I was like, oh man, I wish the bigger bottles had the stickers around it. So I, I, these are bigger bottles, number one, than they were. And they've got the sticker, which I absolutely love. Okay, hold on, let's see if my nose will work. Oh no, I'm gonna have to spray them. Have you tried this one? I think I'm gonna have to spray them. Have you tried this one? Which one is that? Smoked sandalwood and vanilla. I feel like you have one of those. When she sent you some stuff, Okay, hold on. So. Oh, actually, she put my name on some of these. Oh, nice. That uh, makes sense. Some for you. I can't smell this one. So I will say that maybe this this bottle makes it harder to smell from the bottle. So I sprayed it in the cap. Oh, that smells good. What's, what, whose name is on that one that you opened? Me, me. Can you smell that? Okay. Hold on. I'm like. <gasps> Did y'all hear that fall? Can you? Um. Stephanie said, can you please link her company? So uh, the Airbnb Lucindy is in the description of every single video. I have it on there, Airbnb Lucindy, and I put in there, use Squirrel Tribe for 30% off. I think it's still the sale. I'm not 100% positive. Okay, so this one, it's harder to smell right now for me, but blue jasmine and rose smells very, very nice. What's interesting is this morning, the kid, um, she was like, hey, can we leave for school early? I wanna go get my teacher a gift for his birthday. And I was like, sure. So we went to Target to get her teacher a gift for his birthday. But the gift was kind of like a smart ass gift, but a funny gift at the same time, because it turns out her teacher, uh, the class that she's in with him is in a trailer, like those little school trailers, you know, it's not in the main building. 
And every time they go to lunch, he ends up eating something in the classroom that smells, according to her, like farts or feet or the girl's bathroom. It smells really, really bad. So she wanted to go get him um, aerosol sprays for the, the um, trailer. So we did that this morning. She picked out one that was kind of girly smelling, I guess. It was like shea butter and something. And then she picked out another one that was just said wood on it. So it smelled more masculine. So she got him those. And I think he was... Um, excited about those so that his classroom doesn't smell disgusting anymore. All right, so this one, the blue blue jasmine and rose smells really good. I'm guessing those are for you. You gotta open one and smell it then. We gotta go back and forth. So blue jasmine and rose, I really like. What am I gonna do next? Egyptian cotton. I'm not gonna lie, I don't normally like the smell of Egyptian cotton. I think Glade has a smell that is Egyptian cotton. And it, I don't, I don't know, it doesn't smell Theirs, theirs at least, doesn't smell clean to me like um, cotton should. It smells like overpowering, but I think it's because it's Glade. And their stuff is extremely overpowering because it's alcohol-based anyway. All right, what you got there? <coughs> Sorry. Charred oak and leather. Hey. Cedar and leather. Sandalwood. Ooh, do sandalwood embers first. <clears throat> I'm excited about that one. Look, this is like Christmas, seriously. <clears throat> okay. Let's see, what are the questions we have here? She has samples so you can try it and find your jam. So, oh yeah, self-checkout was closed this morning at Target too, and none of the registers had a light on. There just happened to be one guy standing at a register. So I was like, hey, are you open? And he was like, yeah. And I just looked at his light and looked back at him. And I was like, oh, I couldn't tell. And I looked at his light and I looked back at him. I don't think he wanted people to know. Okay, so that is the what? I said it out loud, but I forgot. The sandalwood embers. Hey. I bet it smells good. Everything has smelled really, really good. I weirdly loved the grapefruit one, even though I hate grapefruit. <clears throat> Ball wash fragrance, maybe. <laughs> Spray it into the cap and not at me. That's the best way. So some the new bottle is great. It is harder to smell out of the new bottle. That's the only difference so far. Waft it around. <laughs> then we need like a coffee bean so you can smell coffee beans to get the scents out of your nose and start over. I've already got the scent. I just like smelling it. Okay. <laughs> Let me smell it. Oh, that smells like masculine clean. Oh, that smells really good. I'm going to keep that one in the car. Yeah. Wait, hold on. <laughs> no, that does smell really good. Pour it on your neck and let me smell your neck. I'm keeping this one in the car. No, that smells really good. It's very masculine. It's sandalwood embers. I don't even know how to explain it, but it's like clean campfire, but not. Is that how you would explain that? I don't know how to explain things. That's the problem with me. And we need smell-o-vision on YouTube. I don't know how to figure that part out, but it would We're be helpful. We're going to go cedar and leather next mm -mm. since the other one is... I get to do Egyptian cotton first. Egyptian cotton. Now... I'm hoping it I already know what it's going to smell like. Egyptian cotton? I know what it's going to smell like. What's it going to smell like? Hold on. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping I like this one. It definitely smells better than Glade's Egyptian cotton. It does smell clean. Hold on. I have orange juice taste in my mouth, so it's messing with my nose. Tell me what you think. It's not what I thought. What did you think it was going to smell like? Different. Like like the dryer different. sheets. Yeah, it's a different kind of clean. Yeah. I was ex I was hoping for like dryer sheets, you know, like when you're walking past somebody's house or apartment here and you're like, "Man, that smells good" because you can smell that they're like drying stuff because you can smell the bounce or the gain or the whatever. I was thinking this would smell like that. It it's not that sweet smelling like like dryer sheets. It does definitely smell clean. It definitely smells better than whatever Glade decided Egyptian cotton was because they don't know. <laughs> this one does smell really good. It, it's not going to be in my top 10 for right now, but it does smell really good. For people who want to have like that, that hint of cleanliness, but without any kind of like undertone, like floral or anything, then definitely the Egyptian cotton would be a really, really good one, I think. Oh. What? He said, oh, I don't know what oh means. The labels are individual. Uh-huh, they have their own pictures to them. That's what I was saying. Like, 
So, yeah, so it shows you what it is. Like, so you have Egyptian cotton. So you have cotton there. And the other one had whatever it this had on it. This one's got leather and cedar <clears throat> on it. Like, it's, this is... This is some really good stuff. Yeah, this you is. know, Jess. So the the girl, the lady, the woman who made this, and it's her company. Jess, her and her husband. Um, she designed the entire website, which is amazing. Oh my god! She runs their Instagram, and she does. Oh all my of god! These. Oh, this is. Oh wow! You're not normally like that guy. Damn. Oh. Wow. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. I will lick you later, so be careful. This will make me lick you. I'm just, mom, I'm just saying that's how the kid got here. Oh. That's a. No, that's really good. That's my favorite of the men's so far. Uh, even the other ones that you have that I've lost my shit over the first amazing. time. That one's really good. Cedar and leather. Cedar and leather. That is amazing. I mean, that is, she should have called it testosterone. All right, this one's going that's, on. The, that's one's testosterone. Going on the bathroom counter. <clears throat> On the bathroom counter, he's immediately putting it on the bathroom counter to make sure it goes where it needs to. So somebody said, is there a beachy one? To me, okay, look, to me, which one? <clears throat> There's a couple, but, and I don't know how to explain it, but this Hinoki and Yuzu, my brain wants to say like sushi because of the names. I, I want to think Japanese, but it makes me think of the beach when I spray this one. It's just, it smells like summer to me, but not like sunscreen so if you're asking beachy because does it smell like coconut and like spray tan stuff no this smells like clean beach minus like the fishy bird smells i don't even know how to explain that one correctly all right let's do this one aloe leaf and pear one i love pears it's one of my favorite canned fruits to eat which sounds really stupid but canned pears in the refrigerator to where they're like ridiculously cold oh my god so good i've never had any <clears throat> other canned fruit uh-huh, mandarin oranges, peaches. No, no, no. I've only had peaches. Like, I've never had any other fruit that came out of a can. Mandarin oranges, I get them out of a little dole thing, the little plastic. One of those, yeah. I've never had, ever had any other fruit besides peaches in a can, personally. So, okay, so peaches and pears in a can are really, really good. But the best thing you can get in a can, the best thing you could ever eat directly out of a can, SpaghettiOs directly out of the can they put for some weird reason that metallic taste of spaghettios is so flipping good Do they put all fruits in a can yeah like all, strawberries yeah um no maybe not strawberries but the fruit cocktail your mom likes those the fruit cocktail that has like the the pineapple and the pears and the okay cherries i think they're like maraschino cherries those are in a can also all right so this one oh look at this i love the designs on these things so this one is the Aloe leaf and pear. This ought to be interesting. Okay, hold on. Let's see how this works. I can't smell out of these things anymore. I love it. That means it's like a stronger whatever, like a more sturdy bottle, if you will. So good job on that, Jess. I do love that. Oh, hold on. Oh my God. Okay, so that one, hold on. <coughs> hold on, I choked myself a little. Oh, that smells really fucking good. Hmm. That smells really good. It smells like a blow pop. It does. That maybe that's why it smells so good. So the aloe leaf and pear, it smells <clears throat> sweet, but like not. I don't know what an aloe leaf is supposed to smell like. I don't think I've ever sniffed an aloe leaf before. I mean, I know what pears smell like. This smells really good. I can't smell anymore. But why? I can't smell like that's the last one I can do. Why? I just I can't like I'm not gonna be effective. Because your nose has smelled too many things? Yeah. He does have a weird nose, but I, I don't. And I put this one on. Oh, yeah, you did. So it's going to mingle. Man, you done messed it up, A.A. Ron. Okay, so then I guess I'll do the rest of these tomorrow in a video. But I will say, aloe leaf and pear has just jumped into my top 10. You know how hard it's going to be for me to have a top 10? Look how many. I'm going to have, a, have a, like a top 20. There's so many to choose from. Brandied Cherry Forest. Okay, we're gonna do one more because I need to know what this smells like. I feel like this is gonna smell masculine. That one's, I, I feel like that one's gonna be a little heavier. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. More like wintry. Darker. Right? Yes, that's what I think. Just based off the name. Oh, I can't wait to see the picture. Let like, go. this is robust. This is. This I wanna is see the elegant. picture. Oh, look at that picture. So the picture makes me think of the, the candy apple one from Bath and Body Works. But like 
way better. This is like fancier. Like you can tell that the cherries have been dropped in brandy. I don't even know how to explain that, but okay, let's see how this one smells. Hold on. I keep doing this in hopes that it's going to work, but <laughs> that just means it's a really good seal. You don't have to worry about it leaking out at all. Yeah, we're going to have to make a top 20, obviously. Because top 10, God, man, you don't want, you don't want to try one more? It smells really good. <laughs> it smells so good. Cover your, your neck up so you can't smell the first one you sprayed on. Okay, so I don't it's not know, heavy. It's I don't not know heavy. if it's like you make the scent and then you name it or uh -huh. if you try to make something you name because Man. it is literally exactly what it's called. So this? is like exactly what it's called. What is this one? The Brandied Cherry Forest. Y'all, it's like... Hold mm -hmm. on, I'm trying to explain. You're going to ask her if she, if she makes the scent uh -huh. and then chooses a name oh or if she's like specifically trying to make that that scent okay so oh i will say that cherry okay so brandied cherry forest for some reason is making me think of candy apples not at all the same but i can't figure out how to explain what my nose is smelling without thinking of what my taste buds would taste you know what and i've never eaten the brandy cherries out of the, the old fashions that you get Maybe get married. God, that smells good. Maybe one time get married. I, I bet you Mary, she's like, could probably name, maybe Tiana That's true. too. I bet you maybe Tiana could name. We need a group, a group effort here of, of smelling these things and, and figuring out what they, God, this one smells good. Okay. Yep. I need a top 20. I bet so, you Tiana could come up with some pretty God. interesting. Tiana's going to come up with some inappropriate names. That's what he's going to do. That's why I like him. Okay. Brandy Cherry Forest is now in my top um, 20 as is, where'd it go? As is, no, what'd I do with the box? Did I move it? Y'all have lost stuff. Uh, aloe, no, aloe, aloe leaf. Cause I closed the box back. Aloe leaf and pear. Oh my gosh. So I like the musky, muskier scents, but I like those a lot on you for myself, maybe in the winter, but I generally, I like bright nails. I this like not musky, pop is it? of smell. No, uh, uh. Yeah. But these two so far, the Brandy Cherry Forest and Aloe Leaf and Pear, I'm in freaking love with. So I'm putting these all the way up there with my Black Rose and Plum, which is my absolute favorite out of all of them. I would wear this every single day, but I want to smell different every single day. I don't want, like, it's weird. I don't want to walk by and people go, oh, that's Michelle. No, I want you to be like, who smells that good? Like, I, I don't want you to know it's me because I don't want it to smell the same all the time, which is why I'm glad I now have an arsenal of scents here to, to deal and with. And they all smell different. It's not like they're just different names. Goji berry and hemp. Okay. Smoked sandalwood and vanilla, spiced orange, pear berry blossom. Hey, white jasmine and lilac. Oh, this is the one. Oh, no, 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 no. Let go. So this is the one. Sparkling appleberry compote. I wanted this so bad. The little sample one she sent me, the little sprayer wouldn't work. <laughs> and I was so sad. I would just sit there and sniff it because I wanted it to spray. I mean, you could like take the lid off and like pour it on your wrist and do that thing. But I wanted to, you know, everywhere. And I couldn't do it. And so I sent her an email about it. And so she sent a big one. And I'm really friggin' excited. So, oh, also yesterday, um, I went to open one of the old tester sample ones. And I guess I'm She-Hulk. I don't know what happened. I pulled the lid off and it pulled the whole thing apart and flung burnt orange, whatever <laughs> scent everywhere. A little bit of it went into my left eyeball. The good news is because it's grape alcohol and not real alcohol, it only burned for like 0.2 seconds and then it was fine. And then my eyeball smelled amazing, I'm sure. I mean, I can't smell my eyeball, but I assume it smelled really good. Yes, this one. I've been dying for this one. Oh, I'm so excited. Hold on. I know it's not gonna smell through there. Dang it, I did it anyway. Okay, you have to smell one more. I don't care. I've already smelled it. Oh, yeah, you did, because I was all sad I couldn't use it. Oh, I love this one so much. Oh, I'm so excited. Look, I got a little on my finger. Oh, my God, I love this one so much. I can't even explain why I am obsessed with this one. It smells so good. Okay. Black Rose and Plum has, it's tied. It is tied with Sparkling Appleberry Compote. I don't know. I fucking love this. This thing smells so good. Yep, yep, yep. This is why I can't. 
She sent me too many things. My ADHD is like kicking in. I guess that's what it's called, right? When you can't figure out where to How'd start or go next. Her, their, this to begin with. I didn't. She, so she, Jess is the one who on my birthday sent me the buy me a coffee. She sent me the, that long message on buy me a coffee that literally changed my entire life in like two seconds. And when I, I thanked her, I was like, you know, thank you so much. And she, you know, she was like, as a small business owner, I understand the whatever. And I was like, tell me everything. Give me everything about your business. Let me know what it is. Let me, let me support you in return. And so she, she sent it to me and I ordered stuff from her. And then I told you guys about it after I got the stuff and smelled it because it is just, I mean, absolutely amazing. <clears throat> and for her to be, She's younger, just so we're all fully aware. She's now, she's in college right now. She had her finals last week. So she's a younger female. Her and her husband trying to like build their own brand, build their own business, organic, um, alcohol free, all, all that stuff for the, for the perfumes. And I mean, she's friggin' amazing. I've never met her, but she's amazing. So I don't know, but I'm, in, I'm like literally obsessed with this place. Oh my gosh. She needs to be in Sephora. She needs to be in Ulta. She needs to be in... Nope. Stay no, out, stay I know. Out, stay, stay out of them. Stay, stay out of them. Don't do it. Stay, stay, stay the way you are. Do not go into those big stores because then the big stores ruin everything. That's what they ruin it. Yeah. So yeah. They get they, you. They make you produce massive volume. They get you real skinny, and yeah, and then yeah. Look at this. So, Tamara Renee said, "Jess is amazing." That's Arabe Lucindi. I placed an order and it was lost in transit. I emailed her and she immediately refunded me and sent me another order, which I got in just a couple of days. Love the scents. Everything smells good. I literally loathe, loathe grapefruit. I would rather sniff dog poop than sniff grapefruit. And Jess, in the very <laughs> first... Stop it. The very first thing, she sent a, um, a grapefruit, something grapefruit scent. And I was like, mm, I'm going to smell all of them except for this one. And she emailed me. She's like, trust me just smell it. And I was like, I don't want to. I was like a toddler pitching a fit. I was like, I don't want to. It's going to smell like grapefruit. And then I'm going to have that gag reflex thing. And then I have to blame it on you if I gag and then he throws up and then it's like a circle thing. It's going to be very, very bad. She was like, just smell the perfume. And I was like, fine. And I did. It smells so good because it's got like that grapefruit undertone, but not like that overtone because overtone grapefruit smells like vomit. So it has undertone, but the tangerine, I think it was tangerine that was with it. Like got rid of that like tingy kind of scent that grapefruit has and it smells really good and I've used the whole thing. So there's that. I don't know. It's really, everything is good. The only one I have not absolutely loved, there was one I didn't absolutely love and it's the, for me personally, the Jade Cypress and Fir. I don't love it. Now at Christmas time I might because then I'll smell like a Christmas tree, but I, it's not my type of scent immediately, but it still smells really good, just not for me. That's all. I love all of them. They're all really good. So, <laughs> what happened here? Oh, Kim just bought five uh, memberships for people. Kim, thank you. Let's see who got this. Let's see what happened here. So, Connie A. You didn't hear the notification. Kay Taki, uh uh. Mary Hunter, Lynn Hudson, and the Real Madre were gifted a membership by Kim Lindsay. For those of you who don't know, if somebody gifts memberships, they don't get to pick who it goes to. The YouTube algorithm does this thing like, like the bingo things where it spins around and you got to stick your hand in and pull out one of the little balls. <laughs> um, and it, it, that's what the YouTube algorithm kind of thing does. And it, it goes by people who either are subscribed or are there a lot. I don't know how it all works. Games and Roses, what the? Hey, what happened there? What did you just do? Sir, sir, thank you. I don't know if you, did you mean to do that, sir? I appreciate you immensely. Thank you so much. I don't know how else to, oh, it lets you like them now. He's got to get the sound too. Do it. I hate the sound. Wait, Kim did 10 earlier and I missed it? Y'all, hold on. I gotta go all the way back up here. Wait, where, what happened? She did. See, this is what happens when I run my mouth and don't look down. So Beth, yay Beth. Beth, side note, we're still using everything you sent us. Um, Beth and Miss Jackson NC, sweet Miss Jackson. Susie D, Lorena, sweet Lorena. Wee Bird, K, yes K. Uh, C, C. L. Parker, sweet. Denise S. Uh, Some kind angel. Renee Teague. All gifted memberships by Kim. 
So for those of you who were wondering what the memberships are, they're 99 cents a, a month, right? When you're gifted them, you get them for a month and then it goes away at the end of 30 days or 31, or is it 28 on YouTube? I don't even know what it is. But it's, it's, I put random videos up over on members only stuff. I'm like, I put some stuff up from Panama City on Saturday. I'll put up beach stuff. I'll put up just random little things on there and whatnot. So for those of you who are wondering what Early is over there. Early release videos? Early release videos sometimes if, if there's like enough time in between to do it, I do that. And then your name gets a, a, your green in like the live chat and it gets like a little symbol next to it. So like those are the perks, if you will, of... Um, memberships so games and roses said i'd gift some but it doesn't allow me to from my phone well games and roses i appreciate you immensely uh either way thank you very much for that so what i could do is i could turn around and gift 20 of them with the 20 that, the 20 that you sent in i don't know why i said it 20 like i was um stewie um so i can gift 20 of them can you? you no you do it because i can't do it while i'm in here you could gift 20 to cover the 20 that he sent because he couldn't do the gift. So how about we do that? Then, in theory, 20 new people will get a membership. Hey, somebody said Marvin. Is Marvin in here? Why are you traveling through? Said something about Marvin. Maybe I missed something. Or traveling through your name is Marvin? I don't think that's correct. Where is Marvin? See? She said, where's Marvin? Marvin um, got his Harleys. I think he has Harleys. Two of them out of storage. Um, now that it's getting nicer up in Minnesota, where he is. Out of storage. And I think he might be out riding his bike. Although he did say he took his motorcycles out. He left a comment on another video. He took the motorcycles out of storage, got them all ready to go. And then snow was coming back in on Wednesday. So Minnesota is losing its mind or whatever. Um, so maybe he's out riding or maybe he's dealing with snow. He also has like eight or nine cats. So there's a lot going on there for Marvin. So he's a very busy man. Hey, Janini, hi. You need coffee grounds after two to three smiles. Yeah, normally that's what we would do, but there you go. <laughs> Kevin gifted 20. All right, let's see who gets it. So Kimberly Turner, mother red dragon lady got one. Um, Lisa Ellum, Teresa's Crazy Life, Felicia Hunt, Vanilla, Trevor Higgs, Roaming Ramble, Karen For Forgy, Castle of the Skies, Lynn Dedontney, Meredith Cook. What up, Meredith? Pam and hold on i'm trying to figure this out stop it <laughs> pam sandra buell uh christina solb anita maxwell lynn webb jessica gordon all gifted and then games and roses just did another twenty dollars sir <laughs> sir i appreciate you immensely hold wait come back it won't let me do stuff the chat's going too fast come back okay there we go there we go okay so then um angela toll was also gifted um, Games Roses says, boo, 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 boo. he did your noise, but like in words. Um, Jen, always late to the party. Better late than never, ma'am. Let's see who else we got in here going. Kevin, how did he do that though? I'm confused. Wait, which part? The sending the money part? Honestly, uh, there's like a thing, but I don't even know where the thing is. Boo, 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 boo. Games and Roses, I think your phone is broken. You just sent another $20. Uh, is your thumb losing its mind? Are you doing that on purpose or is this accidental? What's happening? Oh, he did it. He made the noise again. <laughs> <laughs> He's only doing it so he'll make the noise again. <laughs> oh, man. You are crazy. I appreciate you immensely, Dave Banner. Yep, he did it again. Oh, Ireland. Hi, Marguerite from Ireland. I want to go to Ireland. I've actually always wanted to go to Scotland. We were talking about Scotland. that. Scotland. Scotland. I, wanna, I want you to wear a kilt. No. I want you to be like twig and berries out with a dress on, <laughs> with a skirt on. <laughs> you have to over there. I think that's how it goes. I don't think I have to. Real men wear skirts in Scotland. I'm Isn't that good. where it is? Scotland is where the dudes wear the skirts? Man, that's awesome. Okay, so we've got 35 new memberships. Now, Games and Roses, do you want all of those gifted as memberships? You let me know. Tell me what to do here, sir, so I know what we're doing. And I will do all of it, whatever. Where are we at? Oh, look, it's hot in here. I'm getting hot. That's fine. I don't know if y'all get hot when you're just like sitting around doing nothing. Um, Felicia, thank you all for helping me with a membership. Blessings, Games and Roses from Dave Banner to Games and Roses. Games and Roses, you haven't given us any um, quiz questions in a very long time. I don't know if you know that, but I've been fiending for a quiz question. A movie trivia kind of thing. And we haven't had one in a while. So do with it what you please. Will you do 20 more? Please. 
All right, we're doing 20 more. So cross your fingers if you're not already a member that it shows up. Um, oh, did I show the book yet? Nope, <laughs> I didn't. Thank you for asking. That's what I was gonna tell you guys. Oh yes, hold on. He's gonna do this thing, then I'm gonna go through the names, then I'm gonna tell you about these things, and then we gotta say bye because we have dinner plans. Um, twig and berries or branch and kiwi? Ki well, kiwis do have that soft, fuzzy feel. So maybe that, maybe we'll go with. All right, do your noise. Boop, 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 boop. Appreciate you. All right, so who got it? So Lena Turner, eight, Jess, 85, J87, Waldo, sweet, Marguerite from uh, Ireland, Jen, Amy Main, Stephanie McPhy, oh, hold on, Annie Oakley, huh, kitty cat, <laughs> gave myself hiccups, um, Tracy Mann, Stephanie Hallahan, Lenazi C, Carla J, Blonde Gypsy, Frama, Sloan Ranger, Megalodon, Revy Guns, traveling through i don't know how to get you one man like what do you mean it, it, traveling through wants a membership but it keeps getting messed up like it goes to everybody but traveling through let's see jolie sonya games and roses you got to do it again babe boop, 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 boop. <laughs> yes that i don't know how, so i was practicing the whole put your fingers in your mouth and whistle kind of thing and i can kind of do it but it's not like Amazing, but I have been working on it. Right. I, my, right. My, I can't right now. <laughs> <laughs> He's over there whistling in the refrigerator. It doesn't count. Um, <laughs> no. So, okay. So look, the reason I was going to tell you guys about the books. So I got more Nicholas Sparks books and another Nora Roberts. So Nicholas Sparks, um, The Kyle Wish. Spark, Nicholas Sparks. I think I already have this one, so I have to go double check. So I got that one, and I got one called Northern Lights. But these were this one was five bucks. This was six. These things are normally eighteen dollars each. Mm, no, I would much rather have them for super super cheaper. Okay, but this one, Nora Roberts, eight dollars. Not a bad deal for a hardback book, right? But my kid picked up this book. So there's this section at Books a Million called Book Talk, and it's all these books that are on TikTok, right? So she picks up this book. She's like, oh, I've seen, you know, a lot of people talk about it. So she picks up this book and we get up to the register at this Books A Million, right? And the kid who's working, oh wait, hold on. Games and Roses has a question. What 80s music video was, was the only video to be filmed through a dental camera? Uh, 80s music video through a dental camera? Beastie Boys? I was going to say Beastie Boys also. That's for some reason I picture like a fisheye kind of thing. On a Beastie Boys, Is it Beastie but, Boys, but they weren't '80s. They were '90s, weren't they? They could have been '89. That's true. All right, you think on it, and I'm going to keep thinking while I tell the rest of my story. So I already asked. He might answer. He might tell you yes or no. Just say yes or no. And we'll take another guess if we're wrong. But Beastie Boys is where I was going to go with it too. So um, Carla Ray says Tom Petty. Somebody said Duran Duran. Okay, so listen. So we're tell, at this bookstore. So it's not fair because I was born in '85. So <laughs> I really didn't like, like I couldn't like, you got to give me to at least like 88, 89. Where I was oh, in excess. Oh, that's a really good guess too. That's a really good guess too. Journey, I, I can't picture any of their videos except for the one where they're sitting there playing the guitar or whatever. That's when I was like, I love Journey then. Um, hip, hip to be square, Huey Lewis and the News, according to Games and Roses. Hmm. I never would have known that one. I mean, I know the song. I can picture the song in my brain, but I never, I've never seen the video for it. Okay, so really quick, we're going to go back to um, uh, Books A Million. So we go to check out, right? And I put all the books up on the counter. And the guy who's working there, so nicely how to put, Books A Million is an equal opportunity employer. There we go. So he is working and bless his heart, okay? so he's, he, he was all about books. He was all about books. He was... He, he, I hope his mama really loves him. So he was, he was really nice kid, really nice kid. So he's ringing up the books. He rings up mine first. And then he gets to one that the kid put up there and he scans the book and he goes, and the kid is standing like where he is, like talking to him and Tiano and I'm at the register, like right here. Right. And he was like, Hey, so yeah. I don't know. No, no, no. He, you goes, probably... he, goes, he goes, is this for you? Oh, or... yeah. He goes, is this for you? Or, and like, and I'm like, oh, it's for her. It's from your book talk section. And he was like, yeah, it's, it's, it's not really for, you know, I mean, if it's for you, you know, maybe you might be into, you might like it, but it's not really for, you know, and he keeps pointing at the kid. 
And he's like, there's a lot of, and he, he starts to whisper. He's like, there's a lot of like rape and <laughs> sodomy and stuff. And I'm like, the whisper was very The kid loud. was like, he doesn't know how to whisper at all. He's like, <laughs> you know, it's it's not really meant for for young kids. And my brain is going, why the hell did you put it on the book talk table knowing that it's kids <laughs> that are on TikTok? Like, I feel like you guys are morons if this is what you're doing. So you're telling me you're putting stuff on here that is highly <laughs> inappropriate for most adults, yet it's on a book table but there's at things that are aimed at kids. So, he has to tell so, you that. so that's the thing. So he tells me, I, I told him, I said, hey, thanks for telling me. He goes, oh, I have to. Legally, it's a third degree felony if I don't tell you and this book ends up in her hands. And I was like, what do you mean? He goes, well, we have to tell you that it's supposed to be for 18 and up or 21 and up or whatever. We have to tell you what kind of book it is, right? And I was like, okay. But I appreciated him immediately. I was like, thank you because I wouldn't have known. I didn't. The back cover or whatever little thing doesn't say anything about, hey, by the way, <laughs> there's a lot of stuff going on in this book here. And the fact that it's on a book talk table, you would assume, and this is why you don't assume, ask you, me, you know how that goes, the, uh, you would assume that it's okay for the people who are going to pick it up, which are going to be teenagers. And he's like, yeah, so no, um, I can legally sell it to you. But if she was in here by herself and went to buy it, I'd have to ask her for an ID. And if she didn't have an ID, I could not sell it to her. Because if I did sell it to her, I would get in trouble because it's a third degree felony in Florida to sell books with that rating to anybody under age. He's like, I tell adults about it too. Technically you're old enough and I didn't have to ask, but because I saw her over there with you, I wanted to make sure it wasn't for her. So, you know, whatever, which to me says good things about the kid, right? That he noticed that I had a daughter and he thought to ask if it was for me or if it was for her, he could have just played dumb and been like, Oh, it's for the older lady. She'll be fine here. And you know, give it to me. And, and then he's, he washed his hands of it. He didn't do anything wrong. But because he saw a teenager with me, he thought to ask. So parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, friends, whatever, caregivers, anybody out there who happens to have teenagers who are going to send you birthday wish list, Christmas wish list, whatever, and they're going to name these books off Book Talk or TikTok or whatever, uh, don't do it. Uh. Make sure you're really paying attention because this is the second book that has been a Book Talk. Remember, I showed you guys one of them and y'all were in the comments going, um, ma'am, mm-mm. Mm -mm. There's a lot of forceful stuff in that. It's too, it's too grown for her. So I'm thankful that he knew his book, number one, which I'm also kind of curious how he knew that book so well. Um, but I, I'm glad they said something. But third degree felony is crazy to me. Look, I'm going to get real off topic here, but you can change a child's sex without a parent's approval, but you can't sell them a book without it being a felony. <laughs> what are we doing here? But that's fine. It's not what we're talking about. It's just very interesting to me. That is all. Yeah. Okay. So that's all. So I'm going to read some new books after I finish my two by two, uh, Nicholas Sparks again, buy that book. I'll try to find a link for it. So you guys can see what it looks like. I'll put a link in the description of this in a little bit. It is in this, it's an extremely good book just so you're all fully aware. And then I'm going to move on to Nora Roberts next. Oh, and we have to go cause we have dinner, dinner time. What's so. that? I'm picking this up. Six. Oh, okay. So we have 11 minutes. Um, I should... What do you... Oh, I'm sniffing you. I thought you were trying to make out with me on camera. I was like, come on, let's do it. Wait, let me sniff you. Come here. Oh, God, yeah, you do smell good. No, 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 no. Hold on. Yeah, that's that good stuff. Oh, yeah. We're not making no baby, sir. Don't even try it. Don't even think about it. We could try. I mean, we could try. I hope we fail. I don't... I'm too old for that shit. Um, so that's that. We're gonna go now. I'm trying to decide if I wanna put any makeup on. I haven't worn it all day. I don't think I'm going to. So y'all, look at my face. It looks a little meh. But I've been using the collagen. Don't look at the fact that I need to tweeze my eyebrows really bad. But I've been using that collagen powder every single day and I feel Making like- that morning beef tea. Yeah, beef tea. I put it in my tea in the morning. But I feel like it's helping my skin a little bit look more elastic-y. It looks really crappy right now, but that's fine. But I do really like the collagen. Somebody asked me, if I've noticed a difference. And I personally feel visually, yes, that it has made a difference. And but I've only been taking it for a week. So we'll see in another week or two if it's more noticeable, but I like it so far. And it actually tastes weirdly good as beef tea. Yeah, so there's that. Best damn beef tea this side of the Mississippi. <laughs> or that side of the Mississippi. <laughs> Why's it gotta be this side? What about that side? Um, side note though, the Raid plugin, remember we talked about these forever ago? I did Raid and the other one was some other brand. The Raid one sucks. It is awful. Don't waste your money. Get the other brand. 
the start with a Z. I can't remember what it's called. Zebo. 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 Is that it? Something like that. I made it up. I don't know. It's along those lines. You suck. It's one of those. That one sucks. Don't do it. So that's that. All right. I love you all immensely. Games and Roses, thank you for your supreme generosity tonight. Same thing for you, Kim, Lindsay. Thanks for all the um, new members you guys have added to the Squirrel Trap 2.0 gang. I appreciate you. Y'all have a fabulous rest of your Monday night. Tomorrow, I'm going to make another video. We're going to sniff all these jokers over here. So if you're interested or into watching me sniff things, that's weird, um, then check out the channel tomorrow for that. You got words? I think there's probably a fetish out there for there's probably watching people sniff stuff. Well, I'm making my own fetish. I'm like obsessed with these things. Like there's one for watching people chew ice. So there is. There's a whole channel devoted to chewing ice. Very weird. But anyway, y'all, I love you, and I will see you tomorrow, sir. Say goodbye. Mm. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye, guys. See y'all tomorrow. <laughs> see ya. You know, I don't even drink my drink. The mm. whole thing is still full.